All right, we'll take uh, questions for Preston. Mike, go ahead. Preston, you just heard Coach say it. How does it feel to uh, to be the only guy who knows he's going to be starting in the fall? <laughs> it feels really good. I'm blessed by it, but he's always yanking my chain, so I, I appreciate him uh, for saying that. Give me a little shout-out. It's always good for a specialist to get a shout-out. So, You know, if we don't – you know, we can ask the coaches, but no better perspective than the guys that's holding for these new kickers filling in for a pretty good one. What do you yeah. see in that competition right now? Uh, it's, it's been good. Um, it's, we've definitely had our ups and downs just because uh, I held for a guy for four years. I was pretty darn good at kicking the football. So just getting used to it because I didn't really get a lot of reps with the guys here now last year just because it was Riley's senior year. So we're really just focused on getting rest with him. But um, I'm excited for David Kemp too, the kicker coming in in May. Um, he's actually coming in next week. So hopefully get some good work in with him and then just just laying out the field for all the competition with all the guys we have now. So it's going to be a good um, fall and a good summer just to see who's working and who's getting better every single day since Riley's long gone now. So, Clayton? Hey, Preston. Bob, just how have you guys um, gotten on, obviously, you know, losing your coordinator in the middle of spring football, a little bit difficult in terms of continuity, um, you know, just, just how – how has your unit so far been able to um, to adjust, and, and how has Coach Silverfield helped in, in trying to keep some continuity going? Right. Um, I mean, I'm definitely used to it just because I've every special teams coordinator that I had here has gone very big, and so I'm used to it. And so the younger guys were just asking me just how is what what how do we handle it, and you just got to realize that it's a business around here, and we get that, and. Coach leaving was a shocker, but, I mean, you can't blame him. He was going to the top of the top, so you can't blame him. But um, we've all handled it really well. Um, Coach Hankins uh, has really stepped in, too. I've known Coach Hankins. He recruited me at UT Martin, so I've known him for a long time. And so having that relationship with him has really helped just because I've known him and all the other guys trust me. And so when I trust somebody, they trust somebody. So it's been really good. It's been smooth. So hopefully we can get a new guy in here soon and get the ball rolling. Brian? Uh, I mean, talk about uh, your little brother. He committed to uh, Memphis, and uh, how cool is that for you? I, I knew this was going to be a question. Uh, I'm so fired up for him. Um, don't tell him this, but he's a lot better than I am, so I'm really excited for him to get here. Um, it was when he committed, he, he called me. I was actually at work, and he called me, and I don't think I stopped smiling the whole time. I actually was like, almost brought tears to my eyes just because how excited I am for him. But especially with just Coach Silverfield, I love Coach Silverfield just like a father to me. And so him being able to come here and kind of take my steps, even though he's going to do a much better job than I am, I'm, I'm fired up for him. And my family's happy, so it's been awesome. And I'm, I'm just – I'm sad that I don't get to play another year with him, but he's going to, he's going to take over for me, so I'm happy for him. Evan? Hey, Preston, um, with the spring game coming up, you, um, with this being the last year, how much fun is it going to be just to kind of have it after, you know, not having it now in, in two years? Or will it just kind of be another thing for you being old hat at the Liberty Bowl at this point for you? No, I, I'm definitely fired up about it just because uh, you think about all of last year and not having COVID, I mean, with COVID, not, we did have COVID, not having COVID, but having COVID and just it being weird and just, now I'm being able to really enjoy it just because what everything was going on in the world. I'm excited just to get back in there, and especially since I missed the uh, the Montgomery Bowl. I'm excited just to be on the field with all my brothers again, and um, I'm just excited for it. I mean, I haven't had a spring game in a long time, so I'm excited for it, and I'm ready, and hopefully Tiger Nation comes out, and whatever they allow in there, it's packed, and we get to do what we want, get to see all the fans that love us, so. All right, thanks for the time, Preston. Yes, thank you all, appreciate it.